Who turn out the lights is what niggas be saying. Now you don't Old school. Fight, but y'all niggas be playing. G. Thinking it's alright, keep playing Thanks. with that pole. And you gon' know tonight when you land in that hole. Dirt getting tossed in your grave. Now it's all over. Preacher said you was brave, but now it's all over. One of the many, plenty, I done gave it to. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, doghouse fans of all ages, welcome to another broadcast, podcast, whatever the fuck we are doing today. Whoa. All right, so I guess we are podcasting and broadcasting because we podcast got... Podcast to broadcast to podcast to broadcast. We got two Say different things rolling fast. right here right now. Say it fast ten times. Say it fast. So, yeah. Holy shit. Thanks, Matt. We'll be uh, sure to fan you right back once we're done our show. Hell yeah. If you uh, want to see what's on our green screen, you can join us at the Doghouse Podcast on YouTube. At the Doghouse Podcast on The Doghouse Podcast. Or you can follow us on Instagram at Good Dog Butch. Or, or uh, never pay Dog attention House. to me. Yeah, well, you could try with this one, but. You should try to get a hold of him on uh, Facebook. Doghouse podcast. All right, your mama's anal cream. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh yeah! Oh, so um, yeah. How was your week? We're a little off from our normal day of podcasting, but we haven't been on fucking track since summer started. And summer you started. Got a fishing license. Yeah, since I got a fishing license, mm-hmm. really. <laughs> By the way, I got three. Count that. One, two, three. And for those at home? New lures. Mm-hmm. Or three. One, two, three. Oh, that's and not Japanese. Before Sorry. I forget, okay. uh, I I asked the question. No, you know, you guys didn't. Yes. Um, I wasn't broadcasting for that. Suspense that while you keep talking. All right. Okay. I didn't... Uh, Start the you now for last week's episode, um, but I asked the question. I just it said, what, "What do you get when you cross a bear with a deer?" That sucked. Hold on. Hmm. What do you get when you cross a bear with a deer? What? You get everybody's favorite. You get a beer. It wasn't meant to be funny. For that? Well, it wasn't supposed to be funny. Oh, okay. You already heard it. That's why I told you you weren't allowed to answer. I never heard that. Yeah, I told you like three times already. You did? Yeah, you're a fucking stoner, dude. You forget everything. You're worse than I am. Really? I can't even leave my house without forgetting five things. I was going to say, you got probably four or five things still in the back of the truck you haven't worked with us in three (laughs) months. Um, Bitch. Maybe. But I did forget to grab that charger before I came up here. Yeah, you forgot to grab that charger right before you came up here. But. But. I did not forget to grab my drink. That is true. Mm-hmm. Show them the That's illusion. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, watch the magic. Check that out. Dun, 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 now, these Sorry guys you over guys here don't yeah. get to enjoy it as much as they did, but as you see, it's a green can, Arizona green tea. Arizona. Well, on our green screen, it's gone. It's not there. So it looks pretty cool. All it, it all it shows is all the writing and everything that's not green. So for those that like green too, you ready? I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. What? And when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Yeah. So I, I don't get it, but what's all this talk with everybody wanting to go to Area 51 and storm the it's fucking It's kind of fucking place? stupid. Because of America today thinks, hey, we need to know everything about everybody. And if we don't like what we know about everybody, then we want you to change it. God, that was like America now in the new. (sighs) I can tell you that it's mother fucking hot on this. (laughs) It is hot. It's nine ten. I don't fucking know what time it is. Nine forty or something. It is hot as fuck. So, I don't know. Okay, so 
Uh oh. No, 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 no. It was. He's laughing. But uh, did you watch any of the pay per view? Yes. We're good. We're we ha- we're not we're not on like a certain subject here. We're just gonna bounce all over the place. But uh, because it's just what. Are you telling me like we've never done that before? <laughs> they don't know that. I'm talking to. They don't know that. Okay. They obviously know that. I don't. I, They're used to it. All right. Something's wrong, because if they know and they now know, why didn't I know and I'm part of the show? Because you must have forgotten in your old age. That's what I'm just guessing. It's been a rough week, you know. I've missed days. Somehow I became a grandfather. Another <laughs> thing happened. This happened. That happened. Grandpa! Eric rubbed my boob. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> That's the wrong doghouse, bro. <laughs> we were talking about Twinkies, but we didn't mean anything about that. No shit. <laughs> He's going to watch show and be like, I didn't touch his boob. I just touched Liar. his nipple. How do you like that? Bear balls. You touched his nipple? Bear covered me, though, so I got to give it to him. He knows what I'm talking about. And I don't want to say it because there's someone else in the show or in the <laughs> work knows. You can tell me after. Yeah, I'll tell you after, but thank you, my brother. I got you. That's funny as hell. Yeah. And for what you did that other thing, yeah, I won't tell nobody. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, anyway yeah. Um, Wrestling Wrestling it's I, kinda, I didn't mind the I ending think, Well, I think they've gotten a little bit better Than what they have been in the past Like this pay-per-view was a lot better than others They're trying to change I think they're trying to change the image From going from that PG thing Going back to A little bit more When Raw Raw was war You know, Raw is war Back to that time Where they're going to have that provocative stuff And everything And the Mm -hmm. swearing and shit like that To make it Their ratings are dropping And they need something to bring back Why do you think Undertaker's back? You know, they're bringing back The Old school. They're this having Raw, that reunion. I was gonna say this week's Raw is gonna be That's pretty gonna, good. With I want to see that. I'll watch that tomorrow. But it's gonna be day. basically all the same fucking people we we've been seeing. It will pretty much. You know, it's gonna be. I what, didn't mind Hogan, the ending Flair, though. Fucking. Did you see the ending? Slaughter um, of the pay per view. No. No. I kind of fell asleep. I know who they won most you know, of the mass, won, matches. So. But I have watched Raw and SmackDown and stuff like that. The way it happened was actually not too. I kind of like Baron Corman now. I'm not a big fan of him. I don't like. It was him. just or funny watching him fucking give fucking Becky Lynch to end the days. <laughs> <laughs> like I knew he did that. And Seth lost it, and then literally lost it. <laughs> but hey, at least they kept their. They, well, yeah. one of them got to keep their belts. But I think there's going to become a controversy there. They're going to make something happen with that. You know what I mean? Like, they're going to call um, it something. Because you could see the look on his face after, like, he was like, what the I fuck? Think, <laughs> I think it's cool that Bailey gave Ember Moon a fucking title shot. I'm surprised Bailey still has it. Honestly. Shit. I think that's just to throw it into Sha- Sasha Banks' face. Mm-hmm. That's all that was. Kevin Owens has been kind of funny. I, yeah, I know. I'm not a big Kevin Owens fan, but you know what? He's he's almost making me change my mind. I'm starting to like his character. He's doing more like an Austin thing, he is. which is making me more like his character. That's Just right. coming up out of behind, <laughs> behind fucking Shane and fucking turns around. Boom, stunner. Done. Gone. Out the fucking ring he goes. That was cool. Mm-hmm. I like that. That was great. That's a good feud. I have it's to say, like it's been pretty good Austin lately, and, uh, so I agree with you on that. WWE get a point tonight. And then you get fucking... So we won't put them in the... The 27-7 champ. <laughs> oh, my God. That's still, to me, the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, but it's the funniest thing. Coming and out it, of it's the bathroom, it, coming out of yeah, the fucking shower, coming out of this. It's like a, a joke title, It is. Basically. It's what they you know, did. They made a funny title. And who better to give it to than R-Truth? He makes Perfect. it interesting. Gives him something to do. It keeps his mm. character busy. Keeps Carmella busy. You know, it's like it keeps like a couple superstars truth. busy. The return of Bray Wyatt. That was awesome. Coming out in that crazy fucking the fiend. Phase. Yeah, that is awesome. And my they ask, you know, why why did Bray choose Finn Balor? Well, 
out of everybody that's there, Finn Balor's the only other one that has an alter ego, really. A demon Balor, demon blah, blah, blah. You know? you know, you got The Fiend and Bray Wyatt. You know, it's one is good, one is bad. And then you have Finn Balor and the demon. So why not? You're going to have the demon versus the fiend SummerSlam. They just had that battle not too long ago, too. Who, I don't remember who won the battle. Who fights Brock at SummerSlam? It's uh, Seth Rollins again. Is it? Here we go, round four. I hope they switch that out. They might kind of let Brock head his own way. Oh, so. Anyway. Off subject. Uh, we don't Moving do that on up ever. To but off subject. Um, I heard you got a new uh, member to the family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even go inside to see it. I just came in, sat down at the studio, done. Kid's got a turtle. He's cute. Is a red-eared slider? Mm-hmm. Nice. And we also have something else on the way. What? I haven't told nobody knows yet. A snake. I'm not telling nobody. Yes. Well, fuck it. It's the only thing you've been talking about. I'm not... I'm he's educated. I gotta give him as an educated <laughs> man. Though. I mean, he's just going. I forget things, but I remember certain yeah. things. I gotta give that to you. I'm impressed. I'm actually proud of you. Like I just want to <laughs> hold on. Oh, I got you. I remember. Remember the time, <laughs> Jackson. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Hold your applause, please. They did. Thank you. Uh, like, whoa, where'd your drink go? I don't know. Whoa, that's coming out of the air. <laughs> wow. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> You guys have to tune into the our YouTube to check that one out. That's mm. cool. That was just because you can only see bits and pieces of this. Because he likes big butts and he does not. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. I cannot lie. Nope. You didn't bring a commercial cake. Listen, no, nah, man. I just ate a freaking steak and cheese sub. I can't believe I'm even drinking this, but it's so goddamn hot and I'm thirsty. Wow. I didn't know I stand up the fucking the, the you're going to disappear. I feel fucking fat right now. But but everybody remember to be a proton. Stay positive. We had to do our little thing. Mm -hmm. So, do I gotta say something nice too? Like, is that just you? No, it, it, it's a. You, you gotta be positive. You gotta be nice. You gotta, you know, encouragement. We're just supposed to encourage people, you know. Encouragement. Why do you think we're not doing? You know, if you guys haven't noticed, but we're not doing something that we usually do. We, we you'll figure it out. That should be the comment of the day question. What are we not doing this show that we always do? What? That's... Yep. It's fucking amazing how they just come out of us like hotcakes. Oh, yeah? Well, hey, do you remember that other shit we were talking about? Because I remember only bits and pieces of that. Yes. All right. That's going to be a hell of a fucking podcast. That'll be a cool episode. Mm-hmm. That would be fucking awesome. We can do that one. Because this one's the show. But that one's available. I'm pretty sure. Yes, because that one wraps all the way to here. So we'll weigh plenty. We'll just perfect that one off, and that'll be our coming soon. Let's just say I got ideas from some other YouTube videos that I saw. Ideas. Um, it wasn't a podcast. These guys were just fucking off. But we are going to try it. I seen them doing it in a tent or in a room, and so we are gonna do it in close quarters. We are gonna do it in either his vehicle or my vehicle, and it's gonna be fabulous. It's gonna be so funny. Mm-hmm. 
Cheech and Chong ain't going to have anything on this one. Them people will have nothing on us, mate. We're going to go We go in Sizzler. Sizzler with the Rizzler. <laughs> oh, shit. Rolling up with my Rizzler. Does anybody know what the Rizzler is? <laughs> I don't even think that Snoop Dogg fella does. It's a rolling machine. There you go, Snoop Dogg. That Word. bitch never even accepted that challenge. That's because he's too high. He can't even read it. He don't even know what he's doing. He's banging Martha Stewart with a fucking <gasps> cookbook. That's not right. Use a ladle. <laughs> it was the ladle. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, shit. So, what are you doing tomorrow? Because it's going to be fucking hotter than hot out here. Work. Fucking. Oh, that sucks. You should take the day off. I <laughs> I've had a lot of days off because of fucking tell flat tires. Tell Philly can't do it because uh, you know it's too hot out. Here. I'll probably we'll just probably do like a half a day or something just to be like, hey, we're here. Well, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna be doing. I'm going to the river. Here we go. And I'm bringing a chair. A chair. And I'm gonna walk out as far as I can. So when I sit down in the water. It's going to be enough for me to be able to cast my fishing pole. That's it. That's an amazing idea. You'll stay nice and cool, too. Bugs won't really bother you. Oh, they don't bother you when you go down in the water. If you, when you're standing on shore, it's weird because you look out, and I go out in the morning, early in the morning, but you look out and you see all these bugs all over the fucking water. But when you walk out there and you start fishing, those bugs just... Move away. They don't even bother you. And then you get fish just jumping all around you and nothing wants to eat your shit. That makes sense. All right. So, bring it fish eat the bugs. The bugs tip off the fish that you're there. But yet the bitches still eat them. What a I fucking know. double I, standard I've, that is. That must be a woman. I've been doing some research. I'm going to... They say you can catch fish with cheese. The stinkier the cheese, like blue cheese or whatever, um, the better it is. Right. So I'm going to go and see if I can't get a block of some stanky as fucking... Stanky? Like from under cheese? No. Like whoosh, right up the hoo-ha. <laughs> but I'm going to no. try it okay. no and see what happens. Cheese. And I do have my action camera. So you I know what you want to bring it. back? I got this. You did one segment with the WD-40, and you never did no other segments. Like, you didn't bring no knowledge. Oh, like, all right. Well, uh, you, want, you, you, want, you want some, uh, a little home remedy here? Home remedy? Wait, let me. This is for your headlights. The, this will help, help with the process of clearing up your headlights if you got a haze on them. It helps a little bit. It, you'll have to do it a few times, maybe let it sit on there, whatever. For a little bit, then. Excuse me, sir, but I'm afraid someone is endeavoring to contact you telephonically. Okay. Well, I'll answer that later. Okay. Um, what the so, fuck was that? I don't know. <laughs> so what you do is take some warm water and take uh, baking soda and mix it together only to make a paste don't not too soupy whatever just a paste and then go over over to your uh, headlights and start rubbing it on circles you know all over the fucking thing what i did was i i went around the whole headlight today and did circles and shit like that and then washed it off and then i went back because i still had some left over so I went back, I added a little bit more water, so now it was a little bit soupier, and I took it and then rubbed it all over the, the um, headlight and let it sit there for a while, and then went back over and cleaned it again. But what it said is supposed to help with uh, restoring your headlights, and it, takes, it works a little bit, but I still hmm. think that you so what was to the leave it on there. Okay. But warm water and baking soda to help with cleaning off your headlights with the oxidization or whatever the hell it is. That does work good, too? Like, it, you can see the difference? I did it to Ron's um, truck, and those headlights went from yellow to almost almost clear. They were fucking a lot better. Huh. A lot better. So, if you do that, 
and you use it on a woman's lights, well, that, like, so, so if you have, like, saggy baggies, all right, and they're way down here, and if you start rubbing that stuff on, will that stop bringing them back up into where they used Probably to be? Probably not. Like, you that's a restoration. In, you should invest in some Gorilla Tape and gorilla tape. tape those fuckers up you know, right here and put the tape going this way. So it'll hold, you know, it'll hold right. them. The tape will hold that fucker up for you. So the restoration wouldn't work on that? No. No, no, no. No. Uh, oh, shit. That smells like a fucking skunk. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I hope there ain't a skunk on your porch, homie. It's probably not on the porch. The dog down the road got fucking sprayed by a skunk. What are you going around checking people's dogs? Who's the fucking stalker now? Fuck you. It's just when I get told things. Sure. He was looking in the yard and he was like, what the fuck's that Just smell? like a guy who crossed over by Ron. He'd go walking down the road and must have had words with this drunk lady up the street because she sent her dog off after him and that dude was fucking flying down the road. Dog Holy right shit. on his heels chasing him. That's actually funny. <laughs> get him, Gujo! <laughs> It's funny as hell, is for sure. Whoa. Dude, that's, that's a that's horrible smell, man. Ugh. That's right. not even like smelling like good weed. Not even like no stank, you know, skunk bud or anything. That's not even. That's, that's like worse. Holy shit. Damn. <laughs> holy fucking skunk, dude. Oh. You know people have them as pets, too. That's what's fucked up. Yeah, get the fucking stink gland taken out. I'd have it as a pet if they you didn't have the stink God. gland. What is wrong with you? Dude, it's a fucking skunk. People would be walking in your house like, ah, what the fuck is that? My skunk. the fuck act like you don't know what a skunk looks like? Why do people do that? The minute you go walking in and you see someone's crazy pet, you know if it's you know a guana or some or a bird like one of them big parrots, and you walk you're like, what the fuck is that? You're like, it's a fucking you stupid fuck. What does it look like? <laughs> yeah, you you can't tell. <laughs> no shit. You're like, oh, that's a uh, that's a flying that's just my cow. dog. <laughs> It's a flying cat, stupid. It's a fucking bird. What do you think it is? Oh, or it's speaking, a lizard or a fucking whatever. Speaking of cats. Cats. People, like you know, dancing. I guess it, I guess these feral cats, there's like hundreds of millions in the United States. Hmm. Excuse me. And they're starting to get uh, rabies, shit like that, because they're not getting vaccinated or anything. You know, they're stray cats. Exactly. Um, they must have Obamacare. But what the... What they're doing, instead of catching these cats and bringing them to the shelter and putting them down, you know, and shit like that, all they're doing is they're going to catch them, they're going to vaccinate them, and they're going to put them right back out. On the black market to the Chinese. Oh, maybe. Eight in a box. But they're going to get put right back out there, so there's still going to be all these fucking cats. Oh, and they neuter them. Neuter and spay them. So they can't have no babies and create more of this fucking issue. Oh, my God. That'd be a catastrophe. But with the, the hundreds of million fucking feral cats, plus the cats that people have at their house that they just let roam around free, you know, unconstricted, whatever, fucking, you know, shit like that. Just going neighbor to neighbor, they stalking. Are, cats are the number one evasive species that is just killing all of, like, our ecosystem type shit. They're just wreaking havoc all over it. I don't see why we're not allowed to sign. So in Florida, if you catch a big python, you can sell them. They pay you to go catch them now because they're going crazy. Hmm. So why can't we catch the cat, sell them to the Chinese for food? The Chinese food price goes down. And check this out. And we're getting them off the street. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you know what else? Uh, PETA is now targeting, targeting fishermen. Peter like the bread? No. No. Peter like the animal rights fucking people, like the crazy Peter. some bitches that'll sit there and throw fucking red paint all over your fur coat because you're cruel and da 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 da. It, oh this God. hurts animals. And, you know, I'm all for, you know, that type of shit. But they, they're saying that um, you're going in and you're harassing the fish you're going into their place and 
you know, you're you're putting hooks through their mouths. They they have feelings. It hurts them, and all this other stuff. Blah blah blah. Well, you know what? We get piercings. It's basically the same shit. We're still alive. You know what the fish are thinking too? We don't want to be extinct, so we're happy to be in captivity and in places. You know, I catch being... and release. I don't eat fish. I don't want to kill a fish. You know, I try to get the hook out of its mouth and back in the water quick as possible, less handling, all that other stuff. But, you know, come on. So the way I do it probably wouldn't be good for them. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, dude, they'd probably fucking spear chuck you or something. Damn. So to all the animal rights people, we have, you know, like a couple words for you. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Leave the fishermen alone. Yeah, leave them alone, fuck face. You know, people aren't taking these fish home, you know, catching these fish and taking them home just so they, hey, look at the fish I caught. No, the motherfuckers that take them home are the ones that are eating them. Or they know somebody that will eat them. I'll give them a little bit because, you know, lately they're, you know, watching a lot more Northwoods Law and it's Lone fish. Star and shit. There is a lot of people out there that are capturing way too many and doing it illegally and bad. You know what I mean? Like, fish. We, we breed them at the hatcheries. Exactly. You know, we're keeping up with population. But they're doing it with whales. Don't put them in, you know, captivity. Don't do this. Don't do... We're saving species by doing this. If, <laughs> if it has to be in, you know, if we have to have it, you know, I don't... Oh, no, I'm not going to fucking cry over it if we have a whale at SeaWorld that's going to do flip tricks for us. You know what I mean? No shit, shit it's like paying that. rent. That's all. You know, it's like for a stripper. Fucking a fish, okay. It's just a stripper. She's no. dancing on the table for money. He's dancing in the water for money. Yeah. Wham. Stripper Graham. The fucking nerve of some people, yo. Hold on. Oh. What? Boo. That was for you. Yeah. You Don't be through. coming in here like that again. I'm fucking cutting through here like we ain't doing something. We're doing a show. Fuck. Actually, I think our time's up. Time's up. I think we've been here for a while. We've been here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It's been at least 40 fucking minutes or so. I don't It's been know. 31. See, I was close. 10 minutes I, off. I agree 100%. Let's go with. Ah, fuck it. It's old school. It's old school night in the house. It's for you. It's for you. For you and him. And me and you and him and him and her. And, and you that and person her that and just, you know, cut the through booer. our shit. Yeah, cut through our mm -hmm. shit. Cut through like that again. You're getting whacked. Hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, hey, dude. We're going way off it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tap the bell. <laughs> yeah. And if you tune in next time. Like, what time, the fuck? Oh, you know what else we forgot to do? Ow! <laughs> it's going to do you a favor. It's about time that thing goes off. Shave? Yeah. <laughs> we forgot to... Commercial? Oh, 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 wait. Is that what you are going to say? Yeah. Well, See, okay, I was just trying to guess. Kind of not the right music for it, but fuck it. Drink your own tea. Put it in this cup so you can see it better. Or drink water. Water's good for you. Woo! And we're back with the sponsor. Commercial. <laughs> that was sponsored by the Doghouse Podcast. What? It was. Wow. And if you did not like what you heard, too fucking bad. Yeah. Fuck you. Yep, fuck it. Your mom is a train rider. <laughs> <laughs> she train wet. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker.
Oh, shit. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dog ready. fans of all ages, we are here to say have a good night and fuck a fuck off. Fuck a fuck a fuck off. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. And when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you.